with the development of society and the continuous expansion of human activities, nature has also been damaged to a certain extent. The most important thing is that the ecological environment has been seriously damaged. Garbage discarded at will. Sewage discharged from chemical plants and toxic gas are all the time. It threatens the development of the ecological environment. In such a harsh environment, in order to survive in such a harsh environment, the most important thing for wild animals in nature is to obtain sufficient food. However, the destruction of the ecological environment directly leads to the displacement of wild animals, and the most basic source of food cannot be guaranteed, and the animals have to find another way in order to survive. A man's heart has been broken when he found out the truth about a dying python with a bulging belly. When it comes to boa constrictors, everyone must be afraid of them. Except for the appearance of boa constrictors, there are many cases of boa constrictors hurting people in the past. Therefore, when we encounter boa constrictors in the wild, we will be afraid to avoid them. But we have overlooked one point. The python is also a part of nature, and it is also a spiritual creature. We cannot look at ferocious wild animals with prejudice. All things are equal, even dangerous wild animals. We also need to respect them, so even if it is a python, if we encounter a ferocious animal like a python by chance in the wild, we should stay away from them and never intentionally hurt them. They are also a life. On the premise of safety, we should also extend a helping hand to them. The story happened at a road construction site in India. The construction site is close to the tropical rainforest, and many small wild animals can often be seen. Pythons like humid and warm environments, so environments like tropical rainforests are also places where pythons often appear. When a worker was resting in the middle of construction, he suddenly saw a strange thing wriggling in the grass. Out of curiosity, the worker decided to take a closer look. As the worker approached, the movement in the grass gradually became louder, and the worker was cautious. When he came to the grass, when he saw the scene in front of him, the worker was so frightened that he sat down on the ground, trembling uncontrollably. It turned out that it was a boa constrictor curled up in the grass. The worker ran away. But the strange thing was that the boa constrictor did not catch up immediately. After the worker returned to the construction site, he was still in shock and told his other workers that he saw the python. The bold workers did not believe what the worker said. So the worker took the workers to the place where the python was found at the beginning. Seeing this huge python in the grass, the workers all fell into panic. The strange thing is that this python is still curled up in place, its body is still wriggling slowly. And it seems that it has no energy at all. Because the worker was too scared, he didn't observe the python carefully at all. Looking at it now, he found that the python's belly was very big, as if it had just caught its prey, but usually the python would recover after eating the food. On the contrary, the boa constrictor looked very painful and did not show any aggressiveness towards the humans that appeared in front of it. This state made the workers present very abnormal. But what they were sure of was that the reason why the boa constrictor looked so uncomfortable that must have something to do with its swollen belly. Everything is life. In order to keep the python alive, the workers decided to help it but inexperienced workers are definitely not enough. And professional help must be sought. The workers immediately called the veterinary workstation, and the workers described the situation to the veterinarian. The veterinarian arrived at the scene not long after. As soon as the veterinarian arrived, he quickly injected the python with a tranquilizer, and the python recovered quickly. However, the veterinarian told the workers at the scene that the python was dying, and if the contents of the python's stomach were not taken out in time, it would seriously endanger life. But it was too late to send the python to the clinic, and the veterinarian had to operate on the spot. 
the workers spontaneously cleaned up the surrounding environment and guarded around the python to prevent any accidents, because the tropical rainforest is a place where danger lurks all the time. The veterinarian took out the surgical tools that he carried with him, cleaned and disinfected them, and began to operate on the python. The veterinarian used the surgical tools to slowly cut open the python's abdomen. The next scene shocked everyone present. The python's stomach is not indigestible food, but a pile of garbage, a pile of garbage discarded by humans in the wild and eaten by the python. The workers looked at each other in disbelief, as if they had thought of something. From the initial fear of the python, it immediately turned into pity and distress. Unexpectedly, a natural predator would hang by a thread because of garbage. Seeing the scene in front of him, the veterinarian didn't care too much about emotion. He only wanted to save the poor animal. The veterinarian carefully cleaned out the garbage in the python's stomach bit by bit, probably because he was extremely distressed by what happened to the python. The veterinarian's movements were very gentle, for fear of causing secondary damage to the python. After a while, the veterinarian cleaned up the garbage in the python's stomach, and finally sewed up the python's stomach carefully. Make sure that the boa constrictor can survive after it wakes up. The veterinarian who had done all the work stayed quietly in place, waiting for the python to wake up. The veterinarian told the workers that if they didn't find the python, the python would pass away soon. It was the workers who rescued the python. One life, but what happened to the boa constrictor also caused the people present to fall into contemplation. They didn't expect that it was not their natural enemies that hurt the wild animals, but the garbage discarded by human beings at will. It really makes people feel ashamed. When it was dark, the boa constrictor had gradually regained consciousness. The veterinarian hurriedly placed the food he had brought around the boa constrictor, and then asked the workers to hide in places where the boa constrictor could not see, in case the boa constrictor would do harm to others due to self-protection. After waking up, the boa constrictor stared at the food in front of him, and immediately devoured it. However, it will take time for the body to recover to a healthy state. Fortunately, the boa constrictor saved its life. After eating, the boa constrictor dragged its sickly body and slowly disappeared into the depths of the rainforest. When the veterinarians and workers saw the python slowly disappearing from sight, they left with peace of mind, praying in their hearts that the python could survive in the jungle and hope that the python would remember this experience and stop eating garbage because of hunger. Through this incident, let us all understand the truth that wild animals that seem to be far away from human life will also suffer from human behaviors that destroy the environment. Therefore, protecting the environment is more important than protecting wild animals. Even wild animals that are naturally ferocious are so vulnerable to human activities. Protecting wild animals and maintaining the balance of nature is not only related to the reproduction and survival of animals, but also to the survival and development of human beings. It is also an important symbol to measure the civilization and progress of a country, a nation, and a city. Therefore, organizations related to environmental protection must always adhere to the principles of priority protection standardized utilization, and strict supervision, and firmly establish the concept of ecological civilization that respects nature, conforms to nature, protects nature, and harmonious coexistence between man and nature, and promotes the construction of an ecological civilization highland. Promote the harmonious coexistence between man and nature, protect our common friends of mankind, and protect the beauty of diversity.